sometimes you need to get big stuff in and out. And in, when you're dealing with huge molecules or like even giant cells, it's not going to work to use any kind of transporter. However, it is probably going to require energy. So bulk transport of giant things requires um, a process called endocytosis or exocytosis. And, and I want you to imagine something for a minute. Here is an entire cell, and here's its nucleus, and here's its nucleolus. Can you imagine that if I had um, something in a vesicle, here's a vesicle, which we talked about in the last lecture, and let's just say it has, like, this green stuff inside it. Very important to get the green stuff out. Well, what we can do is we can actually fuse the vesicle with the cell membrane and then literally, like, fuse the vesicle and then open it up and unfold outward, and you're going to end up with what was inside, outside, and that is the process of exocytosis. You can do it backwards and endocytose something. And in the process of endocytosis, what's going to happen is you're going to have a little molecule or something that you're like, hmm, I'd like to yumptialize that. And the cell membrane literally is going to invaginate like this. And then these two ends are going to meet and pinch off inside, and now you've got a vesicle of pink stuff inside your cell. Endocytosis, in windy language, is yumptialized. The cell just yumptialized the pink stuff. Exocytosis, in windy land, is barf. The cell just barfed out the green stuff. That's it. That's the process of bulk transport. And the stuff that you can bring in and barf out is actually really huge. Last, we have to discuss water and figure out what's the deal with water in this whole picture. 